today we're going to take a look at a Casio personal mini calculator from the 1970s and later we're going to watch as this calculator tries to divide by zero. Well most of us learn in school that division by zero is either impossible or undefined. Here's an important book, The Number Devil, and in this book The Number Devil himself tells us that division by zero is forbidden. Another book an unauthorized autobiography of zero goes into greater detail and is recommended for those of you who want to look into division by zero in a much more academic way. So it's pretty much agreed we can't divide by zero unless, of course, you're Chuck Norris. If you go to the site chucknorrisfacts.com, you'll find that Chuck Norris can divide by zero. And while we're there, we'll, we discover that Chuck Norris knows the last digit of pi, and Chuck Norris has counted to infinity twice. Well, let's take a look at how calculators handle division by zero. Here's the Geek Logic Calculator, easier living through mathematics. And we type 42 divided by zero, we hit equals. And we get a little E down in the lower left corner. And I think the E stands for error. Lots of calculators to do this. And here's another example. Here's a small calculator, which is similar to the other two. But instead of giving us just an E, it prints the word error. Hard to see up at the top, but there it is. And here's our grade Matic 4000, which gives us a different kind of message, an error 2. And if we hadn't thrown the manual away, we'd know what that meant. The Texas Instruments line is pretty consistent. We get divide by zero error for both the TI-30 and the TI-84+. plus. The Hewlett-Packard 38G is different from all the rest. When you divide by zero with this one, it says infinite result. And here's one I got a kick out of, the Excel spreadsheet. When you ask it to divide by zero, you get a message which says division by zero factorial. And since zero factorial is equal to one, that's kind of an unusual error message. The calculator in our Samsung cell phone is the most straightforward. It simply tells us that it can't divide by zero. This nearly brand new Apple iPod, which has a calculator as one of its features, was one of just two calculators we tested that did not give an error message when you divided by zero. In fact, the iPod seems to think that whenever you divide by zero, the answer is zero. So if you happen to be doing an expression where you divide by zero in the middle of the expression, it will take the zero and continue working and give you an inaccurate result. And that brings us back to the other calculator, which is not given an error message or divide by zero, the Casio Personal Mini from the 1970s, made famous by its lowercase zero, as shown in the display here in the number 402. Well, when you type 42 divided by zero this calculator, it just sits there. And it's much like the iPod, except for instead of just showing one zero, it shows six along its display. But then you realize that it has this special little key. And in fact, this calculator doesn't just have six digits in the display, it has 12. But you can't see all 12 at the same time. You have to hit the special key to get the other six. So we do that, and we see that it's not giving an error message, and it's not locked up. In fact, it just hasn't finished the problem. It's looking through a lot of different numbers, hoping to find a solution to 42 divided by 0, but it isn't coming up with one. Well, of course, this is a calculator that was a personal favorite of mine in the 70s, and I lost it. And I was very happy through the wonders of eBay to be able to get another one from Vintage Computers of Salem, Oregon. And here's the calculator shown two or three weeks after our initial attempt, and it's still going strong, still hacking away, trying to divide by zero. That's when it dawned on us that it was going to take a little longer than we expected before it would finish. We expected it after a few days or a few weeks. It would fill up with nines and we'd be done and the video would be over. But in fact, after several weeks, it wasn't even close, so we timed it in the tens place, and we found that it took just over four seconds to cycle through the tens place. We're going to make the assumption that it takes ten times longer for each place to cycle through than the previous place, and since there are ten more places on our 12-digit display, we're going to take the four, which is the approximate number of seconds it takes to 
cycle through the tens and multiply by 10 to the tenth, and then we'll take that large number, divide by 60, because there's 60 seconds in a minute. That gives us the number of minutes. We divide by 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour. That gives us the number of hours. We divide by 24 hours in a day to get the number of days. And then we account for leap year. We divide by 365 and a quarter days to get the estimation that it will take over 1,200 years for this calculator to come to grips with the problem, 42 divided by 0. Hope to see you in 1,200 years, and until then, that's all from the Division by Zero show.